I regularly see a lot of people on videos, this channel and other channels saying that they just want a cheap EV. When they can get a cheap EV, they'll buy one for sure. But here's the thing, guys. The cheapest car in America, uh, it's a Nissan and it's about to be canceled. You've only got about six months to buy one of these because they'll no longer be produced after that date. Hello, my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Phenomenal to see you, my friends. Now, I don't know about this, guys, but you know, when I see comments under articles, I think very frequently, in fact, more often than not, they are the vocal minority. And we, we read them and think, oh, this is what everyone thinks, but generally not the case. I'm not personally convinced that these so-called budget EVs coming to the United States will make a big difference. I honestly think it's the segments uh, that most people are buying. Uh, SUVs, mid-size, small size, large size, pickup trucks, that's what they need more of. Compelling versions. Like, for example, here's a compelling version, right? The new Tesla Model 3 long range, right? The long range version has 363 miles of range. With a tax credit, you can get it for 35,000 US dollars. That's a legitimate choice. If you're going to go and buy, for example, a, a Toyota Camry or some other sedan, you've got to be thinking to yourself, hang on a minute, am I stupid? Am I re actually stupid? Because even if you don't like EVs, you still have to have that question in your head, right? Because the option now is comparative on price and it's a significantly better vehicle in so many other ways. So that I believe is what is needed, not necessarily budget priced EVs. But you know what? I could be wrong, guys. Let me know what you think. Based on what Nissan is about to do though, and based on Nissan's sales of the cheapest car in America, I suspect maybe I could have a point. Now the Versa, the Nissan Versa will be axed in 2025. The Nissan Altima or Altima, you might say, um, apparently that's gonna be annihilated from Nissan as well. Why? Well, sales, no one's buying them anymore. The so-called car apocalypse, according to car scoops, claimed the Chevrolet Malibu and the Subaru Legacy uh, they're not selling, so they'll axe as well. But the death toll is about to climb higher. According to a recent report, Nissan will kill off their two sedans. Like I said many times on the channel, guys, sedans are dying. And therefore, it is a bit of a surprise that Tesla sells so many Model 3s worldwide because the sedan, eventually the sedan will be um, ROP'd. It'll be you know buried in a cemetery somewhere. People say, why do we buy sedans, guys? It doesn't make sense. You can buy a station wagon of the same exact car or a Cooper of the same exact car and you actually have some boot space. It makes a lot more sense. But anyhow, citing people familiar with the uh, with Nissan's decision-making, Automotive News says the Versa will be dropped after the 2025 model year and apparently there's quite a bit of evidence saying that this is about to happen. That means the death of the cheapest car in America. The Nissan Versa costs, well, the starting price is 16,600 US dollars. So it's $4,500 cheaper than the Nissan Sentra. In other words, the cheapest vehicle in America, um, well, it's internal combustion for one. I think it sucks balls for another, but anyhow, it doesn't matter, right? In this segment, people, when they're gonna buy a cheap car, they're not too worried about the um, vehicle being amazing. So that's fair, right? But it's, well, the sales show that people are not really that interested and price isn't the key determinant for most, for almost all buyers now. Sales certainly are nowhere near what they used to be. In the 2010s, Nissan sold between 100 and 150,000 units every single year. However, in 2022, sales dropped to only 13,400. Um, yeah, that's uh, not a lot. Uh, last year, they sold 24,000. So. Yeah, compared to 100 and 150,000, not, not very many. Now, the same thing's happening in China. Only a couple of years ago, the most popular vehicle in China was the Nissan Silphi, the sedan, Nissan Silphi, and that would sell, sell every other model of car. Uh, and yeah, the Nissan Silphi, it's dying as well. Now, of course, these vehicles are not EVs. They're old school, they're sedans, they're traditional internal combustion vehicles. People don't really want them anymore for that reason in China. And for whatever reason, people don't want to buy these in America as well. The Versa isn't the only Nissan vehicle going to be retired though. The Nissan Altima or Altima is going to be canceled as well. Nissan Altima sales have fallen rapidly since the COVID-19 pandemic in the mid 2010s. Nissan sold more than 300,000 units for five consecutive years, every year, 300,000 a year. That's insane. 
Sales then fell. Eventually, they fell to 200,000 units towards the end of the decade. So still pretty good numbers, 200,000. However, recently, sales fell to 139,000 in 2022, and then they fell to 128,000 in 2023. Now, those numbers aren't too bad, but the truth is it's an aging old vehicle. And Nissan knows to replace this car, it'll be expensive. People probably wouldn't buy enough of them to justify the development cost. You're looking at hundreds of millions of dollars for development costs for a new sedan, internal combustion sedan. Who's gonna buy that? Nissan has no idea, not a lot of confidence that anyone will. And so therefore Nissan is getting rid of it. Keep in mind as well, Nissan have, yeah, well, their debt is rated at junk. So Nissan have to say, well, can we justify spending money on anything, let alone a new version of an old, an old internal combustion car? This is why Nissan is in a lot of trouble, guys. Nissan doesn't have the money to invest in new electric cars. They're hoping banks will lend it to them. But when your debt is rated at junk, well, that's trickier than you might think. Because yes, banks will lend to you, but the interest rates are much higher, much, much higher than your competition. Now imagine that Nissan did make a new electric sedan. It would have to be competing with whatever Tesla has or whatever everyone else has in say 2026 when it was to come to market. Could it compete on price? Probably not. I mean, what does Nissan have in terms of advantages when it comes to electric cars? Does it have structural battery packs? Do they use lithium ion phosphate batteries? Do they have, you know, the manufacturing expertise to build a 1 million EVs in a single factory, those sorts of, those sorts of things. Do they make their own battery packs? Do they make their own motors and software and in, in integration of all those things? Will they rely on third parties for that? Well, you guys know the answer to all those questions. Thanks for watching.